I'm trying every restaurant in a Japanese shopping street, all 80 something of them, and I'm rating them on a tier list from the good to the bad. I'm here to try them all. I'm at Alicia for Nepalese food, my comfort food in Japan. They have affordable lunch sets, but in this series, all that matters is the food. The atmosphere is nice, but I don't know what it is about these places and giant TVs, but I'm always heavily invested in a story that I don't understand by the end of my meal. There's a mural with monkeys bigger than humans, so I ordered the ladies lunch set to celebrate. Wait, what? Little soup, little salad, fast forward, we don't care. Finally, I got my ladies set. Now I'm not a lady, but it's literally not my fault that it just so happens to have everything I want. I ordered both of my curries at the medium spice level, but they weren't even slightly spicy, but I'm used to it. The butter chicken's flavor made up for the lack of heat. I started getting this weird deja vu feeling, but I chalked it up to the spices and moved on to my kima curry, which was also deliciously standard. But then I looked up from my plate to see something watching me. Can someone tell me what this is, please? A little frightened, I continued on with my sides while battling that nagging deja vu, and it wasn't until my mango lassi that I realized what happened. I have no proof and the food did taste slightly different, but uh, the logo from this episode looks very similar to another one. And they both get A's, so whatever.